Yeah, hi there. These comments, I'm going to use the initials of your name, TT, and you made a comment over my website, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer of all of your lessons. I think your question is, which study guide do I recommend for you? And uh, let's take a look at your specific situation. We'll kind of go from there. Okay, here we are. I got you right here. So you say, uh, Dear Michael, I am uh, thin. I am very happy to accidentally learn about your website. I'm preparing to take TOEFL test next month. Maybe I need to repeat it one more. My goal is achieving 110 with at least 25 for writing in the next three months. I took the test nine months ago with a score of 82. So you had reading 20, listening 18, speaking 23, writing is 21. And I didn't practice TOEFL much since that test. However, you also say my work requires me to read English documents and have short discussions in English every day. So I believe my English also, you want to say there has improved, not improved. I would say also has improved over time. However, I think the score 110 is quite difficult. And I need to focus on practice, you want to say, on practicing TOEFL seriously. I think I can spare two hours every day plus 10 hours on the weekend to prepare for the test. Can you please help me figure out which schedule program from your course is suitable? Wow, you got some big goals. Now, to go from 82 to 110 is a journey, my friend, and it might take longer than what you think. So if your score right now is 82, now I'm sure your English is better because of all the reading and the conversation you're doing, but still your TOEFL score right now is 82. So uh, my recommendation right now for you is my 90-day TOEFL study guide and I would recommend, I mean highly recommend, you really want to put a big emphasis maybe the first 30 or 60 days on the vocabulary. You really want to learn the vocabulary in my course. So the 90-day TOEFL study guide is one I recommend for you. Now to be honest with you, I mean you're looking at longer than three months. You're probably looking as, as I mean I hate to say it, but if I'm guessing it could be up to eight months before you reach 110 and it will be quite difficult to reach that goal. Uh, I have students who reach 100 or over 100 every month but typically their score I had somebody who was 100 who got 116 in my course but when I met him his score was already 102 so he improved his score about 14 points so to be honest with you it could be as many as eight months for you to reach the goal uh, I recommend for starters my 90-day TOEFL study guide you've already scheduled the test and let's see how you do if you take it in 30 or 90 days from now and then from there we can make some adjustments in your study routine and remember that believe it or not I have about six months of instruction in my online course I have lessons in uh, vocabulary pronunciation and grammar reading listening speaking and writing so what students do is they use my course until they get their reach their goal I have over 630 lessons there's at least probably a minimum of six months of of good practice to help you improve your academic English language proficiency uh, one of the things I'd recommend uh, if possible you have two hours every day, right? And then 10 hours on the weekend. Uh, Monday through Friday, I would recommend at least one hour every day you spend time reading. You're already reading at work, but I recommend reading magazines, newspapers, and longer books. Do that for one hour every day, seven days a week. And then one hour every day, Monday through Friday, uh, you can spend time at my online course going through my 90-day TOEFL study guide. Now on the weekends, you can do a little bit more, right? So maybe, but you don't want to burn out either, but maybe you can spend four hours on Saturday and four hours on Sunday. Now on Saturday, in your four hours, two of those hours, spend time watching TV programs with an emphasis 
on uh, news, documentary, history, and science programs. Do the same thing on on Sunday for that. So Saturday and Sunday, two hours each day, you're spending time with uh, listening, maybe watching TV programs. Now, in addition to that, you can maybe spend on Saturday and Sunday another another two hours or so uh, at my website, my online TOEFL course. And then the rest of the time, of course, try to speak English as much as you can, have as much contact with the language as you can. So uh, anyway, uh, then I, I will include a link to my 90-day TOEFL study guide in this YouTube video. I'll put the link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. All right, good luck to you, sir, and thank you for um, your questions.